The overall goal of the following experiment is to isolate and purify mouse kupfer cells in high number to study nanoparticle toxicity. This is achieved by perfusing mouse livers with an HBSS EGTA solution and a collagenase solution to gently digest the liver tissue. Next, liver cells are purified by density centrifugation and selective adhesion to obtain a culture of purified kupfer cells. Then, flow cytometry analysis is performed in order to confirm the purity and phagocytic properties of kupfer cells. Results are obtained which show that functionalized carbon nanotube toxicity can be measured in kupfer cells based on the modified LDH assay, supporting that this model can be applied to nanoparticle toxicity testing. The method we aim to show you today can help answer key questions in the nanotoxicology field such as assessing the toxicity of recently developed drug carriers. This is quite important as most of the immortalized cell lines used show significantly different properties from tissues they were derived from. A visual demonstration of this method is crucial. If the method is performed successfully, it will result in obtaining a high yield and purity of kupfer cells which can then be used as a model to screen a range of nanoparticles for their toxicity. After freshly preparing all reagents listed in the table of materials and reagents found with the accompanying text protocol, warm the EGTA HBSS solution and the collagenase solution at 40 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Use 70% ethanol to rinse the pump flexible tubing. Then pour 40 milliliters of EGTA HBSS solution into a centrifuge tube immersed in the water bath.